It's me again, Demetrius Andrade. And if you're looking to take your fight game to the next level, try this, the fighter stack. Everything you need. A, a magical event. Thank you for Sky and ESPN and Bob and Top Rank. Uh, it's incredible to watch tonight. I just want to just say that Luke has gone to hospital. He's fine. Just uh, just for a couple of checks, and uh, he's going to be fine. So I will sit here till Loma turns up, and uh, you guys feel free to ask myself and Bob any questions. Well, Loma's here. We can shut you. Yeah. Okay. I'll go. <laughs> um, just that. He, you know, he, it was a rough fight uh, physically, he was drained and, you know, in that situation, best to just send him to hospital to get checked up, so. No, it's, at this stage you go monitor him, maybe have a scan if, if they feel it's necessary and we'll provide further updates throughout the evening. Guys, feel free to... <laughs> Russell, was, um, was Luke Campbell the challenge that your father, Anatoly, said he was going to be a very technical fight for you? I said, I said before, he, he, it, it, will, uh, it wasn't be easy for me. He's uh, very smart, he's technical, he has a reach. It's a main, main power and uh, pretty much reach. That was his main weapon. Is that the most you've been stretched in your professional career? Yeah, it, it was, it, it was an amateur fight. I'm in technical. Yeah. Yeah. Was it frustrating at all that you didn't get to? Were you eager to get the knockout? Was it frustrating that you didn't believe that it went for distance? I was. I was too close. I was too close. But it's boxing. Uh, I said before, for me it doesn't matter about result. It, it wasn't knock him out, knock out, TKO, or no mask, or uh, score, doesn't matter. Win, just win. Did he hurt you with anything? Did you always feel comfortable? Yeah, he's, he, he has a very uh, big power and a couple shots, he gave me a good couple shots, yeah. Can you talk about that? I think it was the seventh round where he seemed to rock you, he seemed to hit you with a, a short left as you came in and the crowd got very excited, thought you were under in trouble there, were you? But then you were able to, and were you able to come back and talk to you that? English, please. Was he <laughs> 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 Sean's asking was he hurt in the seventh round because he came back with a big offensive yeah. against him. The the bull uh, the bull got uh, uh, I knew uh, he was close to him because he was very close to him. No, I no, 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 no. I, I wasn't hurt. He hit me, but I wasn't hurt. So what fight do you want next? What would the next opponent be? So the question is, what would the next opponent be? Of course, I want unification plus title, IBF, but I think it not will be too close. Not in not this year, fight. not not next fight. So what do you do this year? Then? You got the best opponent out there. Who's Whether it, what? We'll have to go back to the drawing board. Who'll fight him? I mean, we'll, he'll fight him at any weight. What? Manny Pacquiao. 
Pacquiao is not. Uh, no, Pacquiao is not going to fight no. him. No. Pacquiao is not fighting this year. Right. No. And Pacquiao again, you know, a man who is going to do what uh, Henry Armstrong did, fight simultaneously in three different weight divisions. I know they're different divisions. That's our dream for Vasily Lomachenko. Not only to unify all the belts, which he eventually will do sometime next year, but fight the best fighters at 135, at 130, at 126. You know, you can see uh, the, the size of a normal lightweight is represented by Lou Campbell. Uh, Vasily is a much smaller guy. And, you know, somebody who can fight at the lower weights, 126 and 130. Manny Pacquiao fights 147. Yeah, on. right. Why is not calling the Triple G? Or? Canelo. Canelo yeah, is Canelo looking for it. Canelo, a lot of money to fight Canelo. <laughs> After. Hold on a second. Don't, don't put Canelo in the box. Oh, he has that. He has a fighter for Canelo, right? <laughs> Leave the men alone. <laughs> you, you said you want to come back to the UK. Are there any British fighters that you would like to target? I don't know if you find like I'm there. <laughs> You know, and, and the, the truth is that Loma is such a big star with here in the UK, and the fight fans are so sophisticated that he doesn't necessarily have to fight a Brit to come back here and fight and sell out the O2. Right, Garrett? Yeah. Yeah. Listen, the man in a 12 fight sold Madison Square Garden with uh, Linares, then we'll go to Staples Center, Crawler, he sells out, come back, O2 Arena sold out, what else do you want to talk? And we had the, one of the uh, top people from Kazakhstan was here in the audience, he said, when are you going to bring Loma to Kazakhstan? And there you go. You said, what's been your favorite part of your stay in London? I didn't understand what the end is that uh, they were cheering for me or they booed me. <laughs> <laughs> cheering. 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 No, not Ukraine, but there are people around the world that want the opportunity to watch him. And, you know, Muhammad Ali, who's my mentor, in effect, because I was with him for so long, taught me one thing. 
that if you're going to be a world superstar in boxing, you have to fight all over the world. He can't limit himself to the United States or any one country. My goal, and I think Loma's goal, is to him fight all around the world because there's a tremendous market for him among sportsmen. Yeah, I mean, Ali, I remember. We fought here, we fought in Germany, we fought in Japan, uh, we fought in the Philippines, uh, all over, Switzerland, all over the world. That's what a world champion has to do, in my opinion, to be a superstar. And I think Loma's on that page. I mean, he wants the opportunity to fight all over the world. Would you expect his last fight this year to still be at 135 or maybe down at 126? Well, again, again, I don't make those decisions. Those decisions are made. We have one genius in this group, and that's his father. I mean, he won't say, won't sit up here, he won't say anything, but his father is the smartest person, boxing-wise, that I have ever met. He really understands the sport, and he understands his son, and he understands opponents and what's going to be a good fight. And that's not baloney, that's the truth. It's not Egas, it's not me, it's even it's not Loma, it's Anatoly. And it totally makes the decisions. Um, whoa! Loma, <laughs> congratulations. With, with two rounds to go, Anatoly was very animated in your corner. What was he telling you with six minutes to go, with two rounds to go? Uh, he said to me, throw a lot of punches, throw some combination. Uh, but I try, I will try, I was try, but it was not easy because he's his hands was very long and he wait for me and I understand what he what he uh, does. No? What is right to do what he will be doing? Yeah, I understand. It, and it was, of course, it was very, very hard. Did Dad want to finish or not? He just wanted you to win those rounds? No, no. He said to me just to do some combination, do a lot of combination. That's it. Можна ще одне запитання? Василю, ви виграли третій, завоювали третій титул в цій вагові категорії, ще на крок не близились до абсолютно чотирьох цій вагові категорії, але чомусь радості у команді у вас я не бачу. Це втома? Чи ви не задоволені боєм? А що значить радость? Яка вона повинна бути? Я повинен зараз прыгати тут? Ні-ні, ну, природня людська радість. Ну, вона є. Я внутрі, у кожного своя. All right, those questions and that answer sums up everything. So let's have one more question and then say good night. Round <laughs> one, round five. So, so were you pleased with how you boxed? How would you review your own performance tonight? Uh, I want to check on TV my fight and I want to see my fight on the TV and after I will understand what happened this fight but now uh, no I I think if we took 10 uh, uh -huh. this is, uh -huh. 10 yeah 10 10 I do score of a 10 score of a 10 I, score of yeah I do maybe 7, seven yeah. yeah okay next time when he fights here he's gonna hit the 10 <laughs> Thank you.